Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day out there. Last Sunday, I released a video that said, Wow, Team Linux 24-7, 365. And what it was was some of my viewers actually sharing their setups with screenshots and things like that. And, and kind of giving us some information on what they're using on a daily basis. I wanted to turn that into a monthly video. But because of all the feedback that I'm getting, I think I'm going to make this a weekly video. It's nice to know what other people in the Linux world are using, what their setups are, hardware, what their workflow is. So I've had such a great response to this. I'm going to go ahead and do another video today. And the first one up is from Harsh. And he states, I am from India. My daily driver is an HP 14 laptop and Nabarro KDE 37. My workflow is related to stocks, derivatives, and capital market instruments. He said he switched to Linux in 2018 after having some privacy concerns related to his Windows system, and a majority of his work is online research and browser-based trading. He states he started his Linux journey with Ubuntu, but he shifted to Zorin OS by the end of the day. He stuck with Zorin for some time and then tried many hands-on few Arch-based OSs like Endeavor OS, Garuda, and Manjaro, but I always ended up breaking something. He says he later switched to MX Linux and stayed with it for over a year, and then he switched to Nabarro OS after watching the video on my channel. He said he has fell in love with Linux all over again, and it just worked out of the box. He likes GNOME visually for its unique approach and flow. He says it gives Linux a distinct desktop experience, but his workflow is mouse-driven. He said he's always on his phone for hours during markets, and he finds KDE's workflow with a mouse much more easier for him to switch between applications and activities and he finds KDE much more efficient. He states that he really likes the videos the channel is producing and it's helped him a lot with the Linux ecosystem overall. With distros and tech world updates, he states his present operating system is Nabarro Linux 37 KDE 5.27.3, kernel version 6.2.6-201.fsync.fc37, .6 he's got a 4 Core Intel i3 and 11.5 gigabytes of memory. Harsh, thank you so much for taking the time to send us information about your setup. And thank you so much for watching my videos. And please, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you want to share what system and operating system you're using, please, I'll put an email at the end of this or in the description below. Shoot me over all the information. I'll be more than happy to share it on the channel. Next up is user 5081. Hey Troy, I was a bit disappointed not to see any Debian and only one XFC on your video. So here's my setup. I work in my machine as an amateur Godot, game dev, and blender modeler. I also play games in my free time. My machine is getting old, but I still can play most new games. For example, I recently finished Cyberpunk without any issues. That's it. Have a nice day. So as you can see right here, he's got a nice Debian setup. Obviously, he's a lover of XFCE. And if we go over here, he's running Debian Linux 11 Bullseye, 6.0.0.0-0.11.6 uh, kernel. And let's come down here. He's running an Intel i7 with 8 cores. And he's running NVIDIA with about 16 gigabytes of RAM. And at present, during this screenshot, he was sitting at about 7 gigs being used. So, I like the wallpaper. And you can see up here, he's got GIMP and Blender and Audacity. And then RetroArch, Lutrish, Air Shipper down here. But I like the overall look of that. User 5081, thank you so much for sharing. Next one up comes from Peter Schmidt. I'm seeing a pattern here. There's a lot of people out there that are using Nabara. And it's a great distribution. I'm not arguing that point at all. That is awesome. Now, this one comes from Peter Schmidt. Hi, Troy. Thought I'd try and share how I do my desktop setups if you decide to do a part two. I got two laptops. I mainly use an Asus VivoBook 2 in one and an Acer Nitro. The Asus has both Windows and Fedora on it. I included a screenshot of both so people can see how similar they're both set up. I keep Windows on it when firmware for external hardware needs updating like amps, remotes, etc. and running Windows only apps. The Nitro also has Windows but runs Nabara exclusively and I use that on the road when I'm away. I haven't got it completely set up to take over from the Asus as of yet, as I'm still not 100% with Nabara. But it's getting there. It's got two NVMe SSDs 
and I upgraded the RAM to 16 gigabytes. Both Linux distros are now using Wayland, as X11 doesn't have screen scaling, and for the Acer monitor, it needs to be scaled to 85%. Otherwise, the apps appear way too large on it, rendering an external monitor useless. As you can see, there's this setup. Uh, I like the Smurfs. He's got some Smurfs up here. There's a little bit of ACDC back in the background, but I like the overall setup. You've got your little area that you've got set up here. You've got a laptop up here. You've got your monitor, keyboard, mouse. He's got a nice little area for workflow. And as you can see, he's got a towel up here to keep some of that sun out. Uh, I actually have a room in my house that I have to use a towel to keep some of that sun out. So we use what we have and, and, and we, make it, we, we make do with it. That's the beauty of Linux. We can get what we want, adjust it the way we want, and get it to perfectly fit our workflow. So thank you so much, Pete, for sending that in. The next one we have comes from Russell Belair. And it says, Good day, Mr. Holt. I just got through looking at some of your YouTube videos, and I thought I'd reach out to you so I can share my screenshots of my desktop and some of my background. I was a senior technical support specialist for over 20 years of experience in installing, administrating, and supporting Microsoft networks. But after all the time, I started noticing a trend, which I found to be quite morally disturbing. Seems like every time one of the major vendors, Microsoft, Sun, Oracle, etc., came out with an upgrade or a new product, my clients were pretty much obligated to purchase new equipment, licenses, etc. In my opinion, it seemed to be nothing more than a cash grab at the expense of their clients, and don't get me started on technical certifications. Also another way to line these vendors' pockets. It made me feel like a thief. Anyway, enough with the ranting. In 2016, I finally pulled the plug on Microsoft and switched my entire infrastructure to Linux. My entire network runs on Debian and Univention Corporate Service. Active Directory Replacement. Server HA Clusters. His AMD Ryzen 9 3900 XT desktop runs Debian testing with a custom open box setup. He's got his own BTRFS array. Uh, he created his own GTK theme, uh, Grub Menu, Light DM theme, Conky Panels, and Polybar modules. And he's glad he made the switch. He loves what you can do with Linux. It seems endless. It truly invigorated my passion for computers and all things IT related. Again, he did also state that he would like to see my channel do some more videos on advanced topics in Linux. I totally agree with him. Uh, sometimes... In my daily grind, because as everybody out there knows, I have two jobs, and then do the YouTube channel on the side, it's hard to find that time, but I think I'm going to have to start making a place for it. And he said, finally, don't be discouraged by any negative comments you get. There will always be haters and closed-minded people in the world. With regards, Russell. Russell, thank you so much for sharing, and I love this setup. I love the... Three monitors. I love your right here, the keyboard. I love that backlit. It looks like it's red, matches with that. I like your wire management over here. Man, I, I envy that setup. I like that setup. It looks like you can get quite a bit of work done. So, once again, Russell, thank you so much for sharing and thank everybody today that shared with the channel and showed us exactly what you use on a daily basis. It's beautiful the way you can customize Linux, the way you can really shape and form it to become whatever you need it to be for your workflow is truly one of the greatest things about Linux. If you see something in this video you like, or hey, maybe you want to share your setup with us, please drop something in the comments below or send us an email with your pictures and your screenshots, and I promise you they'll be included in an upcoming video. Because as long as I keep getting this feedback uh, with you guys wanting to share, I will do one of these videos weekly, and I'm going to try to do them every Sunday. So, once again, thank you guys for always watching the channel. Thank you guys for sharing. And if you have anything to say, good, bad, or indifferent, please drop that in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe, as always. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.